Hello guys, welcome back once again. And this time we're going to talk about the Virtual Boy. Now the Virtual Boy obviously was a very short-lived console. Uh, you know, it was the most, probably the most unique thing that came out in the time of gaming. It was different than anything else, but more or less, it was a flop. It just never took off like Nintendo wanted it to. Uh, again, it was a cool idea at the time, but like a lot of things, it just didn't appeal to fans at the time. But the Virtual Boy has a very loyal fan base. There's no arguing that. Every council does. This one does too. And one of the things about the Virtual Boy was there were games released in Japan that were never released over here. And some of those games were really expensive. Uh, and over time, the Virtual Boy games have been English translated for people to play. But there was one that had not been translated, and that was the Virtual Fishing game. That came out in only Japan. Uh, and so... It has finally got translated, so now every single Japanese exclusive Virtual Boy game now has an English patch. So if you were wanting to uh, play it and you could patch it, well, now you can do that. Now that ability is available to you. Now this game was released in 1995, basically uh, by Pack in Video. Uh, you know, this basically was a fishing simulation, uh, by far not the best fishing simulation. But the fact they made it, trying to make it on a system is cool. I mean, if the Virtual Boy had more time, and I don't think it, uh, if it had not war on the eyes and other stuff that the system did do, then we might have got some cool games over time, but it didn't live very long. Uh, anyway, uh, it does have obviously some impression, impressive videos uh, for games at the time. It also has a, a career mode you can play through, uh, and so if you're someone who wants to play it but wants it in English, then the patch is finally available. Again, it's a really cool thing these day and age when you think about it, that retro games are getting English patches that were never released over here so people can experience them uh, and understand them. Now, obviously, you don't need to understand much about a fishing game, uh, especially this level of fishing game. But to be able to read the menus, now again, be able to read the menus, be able to, you know, know what the guy is saying, so maybe you, you think it's, because you don't know what they're saying, maybe they say them like that's funny or not funny to you, but now you can, and again, that to me it's really cool. Any English translation in any game that was never released over here is cool for us to get to experience it uh, the way it's meant to be experienced so we can understand what it is. And why fishing is like universally simple game, especially a 1995 fishing game. It's still cool they did that. It's still cool that now all these games have been uh, English patched, so that if you were to get these games, the Japanese exclusive, you can patch it to understand what's going on. Obviously, some of these exclusive Japanese games are really expensive, uh, and because there's such a little fan base looking for them and co trying to complete their collections, so. What do you think about the fact that now all the Virtual Boy games have now got an English translation patch? And would you actually ever English translate patch uh, to understand a game? Uh, again, I've never I've never done it, and I understand, uh, especially more on ROMs, I guess, the, the patches are done in anything these days. Uh, but to understand it, because, I mean, to, I don't understand Japanese writing great, so I would have a hard time playing a Japanese game where I'd have to understand what they're saying. I mean, that would be kind of difficult. And this is, again, kind of cool. So what do you guys think about this game being patched? What do you think about English patches in general? Uh, and would that make you try this game? Uh, now you can understand English? Or are you just like, I don't like the Virtual Boy? Uh, or the graphics don't appeal to you? Or whatever reason would it be. Uh, again, I don't own a Virtual Boy. I've never played a Virtual I tried the Virtual Boy games and they originally were out in the store. And my pity was, that's kind of cool. I wish there were more colors to it. Because red and black seem to be kind of not great, great colors for the eyes. That kind of contrast at the time. But anyway, love to hear your guys' opinions like always. And I'll make another video soon. Later, guys.